I've got to say, I kind of love this chapter of Nehemiah. It's just so odd, all those names and bits of the wall and gate they repaired. I think it's fascinating. Maybe I'm just strange. But Steve started his sermon by asking the question, why is this even in our Bibles? And he made some excellent suggestions of lessons that we can learn, really excellent. But the way I think I would answer that question is to remind us that the book of Nehemiah is a journal. It's his personal reflection on his own journey with God. And I think there's a, a sense in this chapter where Nehemiah is really proud of his people. He wants us to know not only what they achieved, but how they did it, who was involved and, and which particular bit they did. I think there's a real excitement in the text as he tells us that Barry repaired the horse gate and, and Joe and Tina fixed that bit of the wall down by the fountain and, and Keith and Barbara sorted the bit behind their house. And, and I get it because I also belong to a community that is invested in the work of the Lord. That's you. I'm, I'm talking about you. You know, it would have been the easiest thing in the world for us just to shrink back this year, to hide away and, and perhaps privately mourn the loss of our Sunday gatherings, but not trouble ourselves much beyond that. But in reality, I think Tamworth Elim has become wider and more accepting and more loving and more kind and, and more compassionate than we've ever been. I really do. Sunday morning worship used to take place at 10.30 on Bamford Street, but now it happens all over the town and all over the, the world even, at different places at different times. And, you know, we're the church, not because we meet in the same building each week, but because we get to be the hands and feet of Jesus where we are. We get to reach out to a broken and a hurting world in love. We get to look around at our own neighbourhood and ask the question, what needs fixing? And what can I do about it today? This online service that Steve, Brenda, Amy and I do is such a tiny, tiny part of our church. Because our church is also that person who lives on their own in your street that you helped last week. It's that phone call that you made to the elderly relative who you knew would be lonely. It's that prayer that you prayed for the family who's grieving. It's that food parcel you helped to deliver. It's that word of encouragement that you gave. It's that person that you took the time to listen to and tell them that they are loved by God and by you. And as I read through the chapter this week at all those funny names and little jobs that they did, I see your name. And all that you are doing to help repair and refix and restore those around you. And I want to keep encouraging you. Keep going. Because together we are his church. His church at a time where the need to be present in our communities has never been greater. So let me just pray for you as we close our service today. Heavenly Father, I thank you that there are no walls to your church. Only people who you have placed in communities. People that you have commissioned to reach out in love. People who get to be the hands and feet of Jesus, making a difference right where they are. And Father, I pray that you would give us the eyes to see where we personally can impact the lives of those around us. God, help us to be your church at this time, Father God, right where we are. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Take care and I'll see you soon.